So this here is my Creality CR10, and it's time to replace its hot end. And we're gonna do it right here on 3D Makers. All right, so the first thing before you actually start messing with anything on this hot end is that, well, because it's very namesake says that it gets hot, you want to make sure that it's not hot. You want to make sure that your printer has been off for quite some time to make sure that you don't burn yourself on this thing. It gets very, very hot and you don't want to touch it when it's hot. Trust me. I've slipped and touched it. It's not fun. So my printer has been off for several days because I've actually been waiting on the part to show up because it's not been operational. So let's start by just go ahead and taking this thing apart because I know it's already cold. I have convenient extension cables because I need the control box to sit too far away for the plain cables to come with. So I'm just going to unplug this from the, get back in frame here, I'm gonna unplug this from the printer itself. So this is coming from the hot end through the extension cable to the printer. So I'm gonna unplug it from the extension cable. If you don't have that, you'll just need to unplug it from the back of the printer itself. It's the same process. It's got this spin wheel on here. You just spin it off, pull it out, nice and simple. Get that out of your way. It's fine if it falls behind the printer and disappears into the abyss. We still have an attachment point. Now there's two screws here. You may notice already, I've already taken off the Bowden tube because that is a pain to pull off. And I just went ahead and did it in part of my troubleshooting and I didn't feel like putting it back in. But there's just a button that you push here. It theoretically should come out. In my experience, it's been a little bit more of a fight, but it comes off. So there's two screws. Your printer should come with an Allen key set for all the rent or for all the screws on the printer that require them. This is the one for the particular screws that we're going to need for the entirety of the project. So I'm going to use this and pull these two screws off. You do want to make sure that you keep track of your screws because you will need them. So any screws falling into the abyss behind your printer you'll want to find. Okay, so now that those two screws are out, we're just going to take this, which should be loose, might have to wiggle a little bit. Just going to take it out and tuck it out of the way. Just about like that. At this point, anything on the hot end itself that you want to keep around, such as if you want to keep your retention bracket, I don't know the actual term, I apologize, for your Bowden tube, this would be the point to take that out, as well as if you have any third-party uh, socks on your actual hot end or heater block, this would also be the time to pull those off. You can do that later, it's just convenient now. And I have this little silicon sock, so I'm gonna pull that off and I'm gonna sit it with the rest of my parts. Now there's just two more screws and that's all that's holding on this red block to the actual printer itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off. And again, you wanna keep these. All right, so now that those are out, the hot end will just come free. And since we've already unplugged the cable, we can just pull it away. So now we have removed the old hot end. Put that off to the side. And then this bag should contain the new hot end, which I will link below. Let's open it. This isn't overkill, is it? Maybe. 
And we have a box. And in here, oh, it, it just falls apart. This is a weird box. Oh, that's actually packaged really nicely. Oh, they include a Bowden tube, so you don't have to worry about damaging yours. It is included. New cable, that's actually I feel like braided nicer than mine. It comes wrapped in a film. Let's free it. Get that out of there. So this appears to be a slightly upgraded or newer release than the one I have on my printer. It has a clip to keep the release mechanism here from being pushed accidentally, letting the Bowden tube release. It has a tighter fin stack. And the heater block itself appears to be made out of brass or a plated aluminum. For comparison, here's my original. Here's the new one. A little, little bit of a difference. I like it. It looks good. Put that back aside. So at this point, we're going to do everything we did to pull the old one off in reverse. We are just going to put this back up here. Now you do want your wiring to go towards the right of the printer. So it's gonna sit like this. All right, so there's a little bit of play in it, which is fine because we want it to look fairly perpendicular, so straight up and down before we really snug it up. Once we do that, we'll have a nice uh, hot end that should be pointing fairly straight down so you don't have a bias to one side or the other as far as when it tries to squish filament out. You want that to come out in a nice little circle. So I'm going to cut in front of the camera to make sure that I have that nice up and down, which looks to be right about there. At which point, you just snug it up a little bit. We're gonna put our fan shroud back on. Be careful not to damage any of your wiring, but you'll want to just screw this back on. As long as both screws are in, it's fine. It doesn't really matter that much about this having any play in it. This thing's primary job is to keep you from burning yourself and to provide cooling to that fin stack. All right, so once you have those snug back down, the hot end is essentially replaced. We just need to connect it back to the printer. So it's come with this zip tie on here which I'm just gonna cut with the flush cutters that the printer came with. Being careful not to cut any of the wiring or your new Bowden tube. Put that just anywhere. And now I'm just gonna run this back behind the frame. And get my extension out and it's keyed so it only goes in one way and then you just screw that threading back in now they are stuck together show that back off to the side take your hot end extend it all the way furthest from 
your driver, which will give you plenty of room to take your Bowden tube, which I'm sure is fun to see on this white background. There it is, there it's not, there it is. And you're just going to push that in until you feel it seat all the way in there. And then, because I wired this up and then ran that on the wrong side, I'm gonna, so now we've replaced it, let's find out if it works. I'm gonna load some filament and then I'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and loaded some filament and went ahead and got a print started. It seems that this seems to have fixed it because what it was doing before was within moments of starting anything, including pushing filament through myself, it was just jamming up. Uh, thinking about it further, I think the thermistor might have gone out. Uh, so it just wasn't getting hot enough. But this has definitely fixed it. I'm doing a print now. I will make sure to include a image of that once it finishes. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe if you're not, and drop a like below or a comment if you have anything else you want to see me do.